In a typical district heating area, a sufficiently high temperature is supplied to the entire grid. However, the grid consists of different zones and, in many of them, the actual heat demand is much lower than what is supplied. With Grunfoss iGrid, you can identify these zones and lower the temperature to the actual demand. This allows you to reduce the heat losses in the grid, often by 20% or more. In this video, we take a closer look at how Grunfoss iGrid works. In this branch, an iGrid temperature zone ensures that you can lower the supply temperature by mixing some of the colder return water into the supply. The iGrid pit measure points are placed in important areas of your zone and act as your eyes in the heat grid. Pressure and temperatures are monitored in the supply and return line and a thermal electric generator utilizes the temperature difference to create sufficient energy for sending data via GSM. This means there is no need to connect to the electricity grid and no need for batteries that will eventually have to be replaced. The data is returned every minute to the iGrid temperature optimizer and the SCADA system and is then used to adjust the pump speed and thereby optimize the heat distribution according to the real-time demand. The iGrid pit measure point is very flexible and can easily be moved from one place to another. This makes it ideal for calibrating your heat grid. The iGrid temperature optimizer ensures optimal temperature control based on peak shaving algorithms, weather compensation, and the real-time data from the iGrid pit measure points. To achieve cost-effective peak shaving, the temperatures are slightly increased prior to the peak loads. This will reduce the need for boilers to kick in during peak loads and based on weather conditions such as temperature, wind and season, as well as the monitored demand, the temperature optimizer gives the iGrid temperature zone new set points, meaning that the exact temperature needed in the zone is delivered, nothing more and nothing less. This ensures the highest efficiency and highest consumer comfort. In critical parts of the zone, a bypass is required to ensure that the consumer at the far end of a zone gets enough heat energy, even when demand is low during summer. Once the supply temperature is below the set point, a valve opens and increases the flow to the return line until the supply temperature is back at the required level. This is typically done mechanically, but the advantage of our iGrid bypass solution is that it measures temperature and pressure data that is shared with the iGrid controller via GSM. Typically, district heating companies do not have data about differential pressures in the critical point, and instead, they operate with a safety margin. By utilizing data from the iGrid bypass, we can lower the differential pressure to meet the actual demand, thereby eliminating the need for overcompensation. Lowering the supply temperature without replacing the existing mechanical bypass results in excessive bypass flow and a higher return temperature. This can be monitored and avoided by remotely adjusting the set points in the motor valve of the iGrid bypass. During winter, where the heating demand is always high, the bypass is kept closed to avoid unnecessary heat loss and water flow. As with the iGrid pit measure point, this solution does not need to be connected to the electricity grid due to the utilization of a thermal electric generator. In the bypass, the data is returned hourly since most of the energy is used to control the motor valve. The iGrid building bypass is a similar solution used for buildings with a 230 volt connection. This allows on-off buildings, such as schools or summer residences, to turn off the bypass in no heat situations. Furthermore, buildings at a distance from the grid can use this solution to ensure instant hot water, even when they have a long service pipe. Other iGrid services. Once the temperature is optimized within the given parameters in the zone, buildings might start demanding higher temperatures than what is currently being delivered, 
due to incorrect set points or poorly balanced systems. This results in high return temperatures and a high degree of unutilized heat energy. These buildings are easily identified by Grundfos, simply by giving us access to the meter data in the buildings. By changing set points, balancing these buildings, and maybe replacing a few components, the efficiency of the buildings is increased and the return temperature to the district heating grid is lowered. This results in a better utilization of, for example, the flue gas economizer and improvement of the overall production efficiency for the district heating grid. At the same time, the improved building performance makes it possible to lower the supply temperature and thereby the heat losses even further, benefiting all other consumers in the zone. Here is a summary of the benefits of our iGrid solutions and services. Reduced heat losses, often greater than 20%, by lowering supply temperatures. Increased building efficiency through balancing services. Increased production efficiency by lowering return temperatures. Opportunity to utilize more renewable energy sources.